You can run the intercessions more like a like a seminar style. Um, so we'd rely a lot more on information from the broader media, news stories that are happening right now and very relevant. You don't have to rely quite so much on the sort of rote um, um, you know, lectures that you do over and over again. You can spend a lot more time doing really in-depth discussions. And that's unique to the interterms, uh, the summer and the winter classes, because uh, the classes tend to be so much smaller and they meet so much more intensely. And I, and I like the idea that you were mentioning about how this is really all we're doing for the students and us. This is, this is our full-time job right now, which is actually not true during the semesters when you might be teaching multiple classes. Certainly you're taking classes uh, or teaching uh, if you're for, for faculty members or teaching grad seminars. You're pulled a million different ways. And right now, this is our whole job is really just getting to spend time thinking about this class. Um, you spend the whole morning or afternoon prepping and then the whole uh, opposite teaching. Uh, and the same is true for the students. So it's just that, that really intimate in-depth experience. So. I mean, and I, I stole this idea from Bill, but um, in the in the winter term, it's part of what it is. Because you've got three hours, you've got to be with the, with the students um, to sort of try to keep the students involved, keep everyone's sort of energy up. We have them do media reviews, or they bring in something from the recent media uh, and discuss that. And I've actually found that um, that's really fun for, for me too, because a lot of times I'll hear music or see a news story I missed or something. Um, and some of those actually, the students have done ones that are so interesting in the semester previous that I end up assigning those articles in the, or mentioning those articles or discussing them uh, in the next semester.